Okay, so today I am going to be condensing this hive from two boxes down into one. So it was a weak hive for most of last season. It was kind of struggled all through winter. We had to evict a mouse out of the bottom box a couple times. So we know that these bees right now have too much space to work with. One of the best things that you can do for a struggling hive is to reduce the amount of space that they need to fill. So I am gonna reduce this hive from two down into one by choosing of those 20 frames in there, my 10 best and organizing them in the bottom box, which is gonna stay behind. I'm also gonna add a little bit of honey from a dead out that I cleaned out because I know that they don't have enough of their own food stores left. You can, there's a shim right here because we have been feeding them fondant up until now, but it's finally warm enough that we can actually pull frames and get a better idea of what is going on in there and how we're gonna help this hive. So just to give you an idea of what I'm looking at as a weak hive, you can see I've pulled the fondant and pollen patties off here, which is what some of the stuff left behind there is. Um, but there's a little cluster there. You can see that there's, there's more bees in there than it looks like from the very top. Um, but yeah, they're really only on about three frames of right now a 20 frame box. So we need to reduce them down quite a bit. So this bottom box here is actually completely empty of bees. This is where we had a mouse in here a couple times over the winter. Um, but I'm going to leave this box here because this is going to become the hive. But I'm going to take all of these frames out so that as I pull the frames that are more active, I can organize them in this box the way that I want them um, to be, which is brood to the center, food and empties to the outside. So I'm just removing everything. You can see some of the mouse damage here. bit more mouse damage on this one. Now, we've already kind of cleaned this out um, since the mouse was in there, but this would be a good opportunity to like shake off the bottom board, uh, clear out any debris down there just to help the bees so that they don't have to do that work. Um, this one is looking pretty clean. There's some mouse damage up in the top as well. Okay, so once I have found my frames with bees on them, that's what I really want to keep in the hive. So this is gonna, there's not much happening on there, but there's enough bees that I'm gonna leave this as a frame in the center. Also lots of room for the queen to lay on there, which is what we want coming into spring. This is a little bit better. We're actually starting to see a bit of brood. A little bit more brood. I can see some eggs on this frame. Her queen, see if you can spot her. She is looking a little skinny, and that's not unusual in the spring.
Okay. So, those four frames are the only ones that I have like active bees on. So those are gonna go right in the center of my new hive. Now, I also know that there is lots more room for the queen to lay there. If I was worried about that, I would put another frame of drawn comb, but empty. More room for the queen to lay. On these four, she already has more than enough. So I'm gonna put a honey frame now on either side of this little brood net. Okay, so I'm gonna take some honey from my dead out frames here. There's a little bit of mold on it. It's not a big deal. The, bee, the bees will clean that up and stick that right on either side. Bonus if you have frames with a bit of pollen and a bit of honey, which these ones do, which is really nice. And now I'm just gonna stick a couple more empties on either side here. Choosing my least damaged frames. There we go. So now I'm gonna close this back up as a single box frame for a little while. We're gonna to continue to feed them. Right now we have fondant on still. We're just about ready to switch to liquid feed, um, but I'll let them finish off that fondant first. Okay, so just before I close this back up, I will just kind of recap how this bottom box is set up. Um, I always kind of start in the middle because that's where your bees are, or your brood. So these four frames in the center are the frames that had bees on them. They were originally in the top box. On either side of that, I have two frames with honey from the dead out that I cleaned out. So that's two and two. And then outside of that, I just have some blank drawn frames. Or if you don't have any drawn frames, then that would be the place where you put like just brand new foundation as well uh, until later in the spring when your hive has strength to draw them out. Then I have some pollen sub on because we're not quite in a good pollen flow yet. And I'm gonna leave the fondant on and we'll switch them to liquid feed soon. So now that we've got our hive reduced back down to one box, I'm gonna start treating them kind of like a brand new hive or a nuke that we've just installed here. I'm gonna feed them. I'm going to give them plenty of time to fill up that first box and I'm going to wait until they have seven or eight frames full active before I add another box on top again. 